Good morning, everyone. Ohio Gozaimas Minasan. I'm David Matheson, the CEO and founder of the CDO Club, the CDO Summit, and the Chief AI Officer Summit. I want to thank first and foremost Kamo-san. Jun Kamo has done an incredible job in, in Tokyo and in Japan in spreading the word about digital transformation and data-driven culture. And now, of course, acceleration through AI. And we're moving from a period of DX or digital transformation to what I like to call EX or XX, exponential transformation. And I think those companies who make that pivot uh, over the next couple of years are going to dominate in their sectors and maybe across sectors. So very exciting times. And congratulations to Kamal-san and to all of you who made an investment of your time into this critical new field. I want to start off by showing just, uh, let me get that out of the way. Sorry, beautiful day here in uh, Long Beach, New York. Uh, my presentation today is on the essential skills and traits for chief AI officers and how to differentiate those from uh, chief data and chief digital officers. I started tracking chief AI officers in 2019, 2020. The pandemic had hit and I was about to do some webinars for IBM's AI client accelerator team and the office of the global chief data officer, Indrapal Bhandari. In preparation for those webinars, I just suggested, you know, I've done chief digital officers for 10 years, chief data officers as well. Why don't we do a webinar on chief AI officers? And they happen to like the idea. So just like I started tracking chief digital officers 12 years ago, started tracking CAIOs in 2020. And I had uh, 250 results. And then in 2021, a year later, did the search again, got 400 results the next year in 2022. And the number had doubled. So we went in two years from 250 results to 500. And just recently, I did the search again. It's about 1,000 results. Bear in mind, not all of those people are currently engaged. Uh, number two, some of them are just using it as clickbait. So I would say out of those 1,000 results, we're tracking about 500 of those. We did our first two-day event since the pandemic in December 2023. First day was a third chief digital data and analytics officer summit. You can read the recap of that event here. We've also got the videos up and loaded in order according to the agenda. On the second day, on December 14th, we produced the world's first ever Chief AI Officer Summit in Boston in partnership with the Institute for Experiential AI, the Damore McKim School of Business at Northeastern University. So I'm just going to share my screen with a couple of articles that I think uh, are important right now. In uh, the Human Resource Executive, does your company need a Chief AI Officer? Kind of a good primer on an evaluation of whether or not your company needs one. We were quoted in Inc. Magazine showing that, again, using my numbers, they were showing that the number of Chief AI Officers has tripled. And then most importantly, these last two articles I'd like to bring to your attention. One is we were quoted by Tanyan in a very detailed article on where to find chief AI officers. For example, events like this, CDOs, chief data officers uh, have lots of the skills required for the chief AI officer slot. Uh, certainly education, academia, startup world, uh, acquisition, you could acquire a company which has AI talent. But most importantly for uh, my presentation today, I did want to bring up this article that was in CIO.com. What are the essential skills and traits of chief AI officers? How do they differentiate from chief data officers, chief analytics officers, et cetera? Let's run through some of them. Certainly, they need a strong strategic vision, leadership skills, uh, ethical awareness due to all the legal and compliance issues. Uh, the ability to collaborate effectively across disciplines and teams. And I would say they break down into a number of groups. So I would say, first of all, technical skills, definitely a deep understanding of AI technologies, of RAG, of robotics, NLP, ML, DL, uh, et cetera. They should have a good grounding in data science and, and preferably analytics, although that's kind of optional. But Proficiency in data science, absolutely. Uh, they've got to leverage data-driven insights and develop AI models on data. So it, I would include in there statistical analysis, good data visualization, predictive, mo predictive and prescriptive modeling. Also under technical skills, let's make sure we focus on risk management and compliance, especially knowing the upcoming and current regulatory compliance requirements around AI. We also have to make sure the um, adhere to legal and ethical standards, which is why chief AI officers generally work pretty closely with the chief privacy officer, chief legal officer, 
as well as the chief risk and chief compliance and management officers. Uh, beyond technical skills, chief AI officers certainly also need business and management skills. So they're coming in as a leader. The CAIO should have strong planning and leadership skills. They're going to need to execute a comprehensive AI strategy aligned with business value and goals. So that includes setting priorities, making decisions, and inspiring their teams. Uh, the other, as we just mentioned, ethical and responsible AI practices probably should be number one. Uh, they should be well-versed in the ethical considerations and trustworthy, responsible AI practices. So that includes bias, fairness, transparency, and privacy in AI systems. They should have a small business acumen, obviously most important strategic role here. They're going to want to, uh, the CEO and the board is going to want to make sure they're bringing this person in to align AI initiatives with business goals and objectives. Next, again, under businesses and management skills, they should be an effective communicator and be able to engage all their stakeholders. That would include leadership, staff, the C-suite, you know, if they're at university setting, faculty and students and external third-party partners. Also under business management skills, collaboration and interdisciplinary thinking. It's clear we're going to need to roll out AI initiatives across different departments and disciplines. So they should be skilled at fostering this interdisciplinary collaboration and building partnerships. Next, I would say change management. You know, we've all heard the stories about, uh, you know, AI resulting in layoffs. And certainly change management and the ability to manage people needs to be at the top of the list. The next skill would be continuous learning. You know, you've got to continuously keep yourself up to date in this field or be out of date very quickly. So uh, obviously folks who are um, very curious and continuous learners and are very adaptable would make uh, a great chief AI officers. And lastly, under that category, project management skills, they're going to need to effectively plan, execute, and monitor these projects. And that would include not only the scope and resources and timelines, and mitigating risks, but also funding this and making sure that these projects are viable. I would like to bring your attention to our upcoming events. These will be in Washington, D.C. on October 1 and 2. The White House came out with an executive order on AI, which mandates that all federal agencies hire chief AI officers by the end of May. So that is all happening as we speak got some great speakers lined up for each event. We've got the SEC and National Guard. We've got the Department of Transportation, PepsiCo, uh, Director of National Intelligence, U.S. Military Academy at West Point, T-Mobile, U.S. Army, et cetera. And then again, on our second day, we're holding the second Chief AI Officer Summit down in D.C. On October 2nd, you can see some of the talent there. We've got EBP from Dow Jones, we've got the Chief AI Officer from the Department of the Treasury, the White House, Avanade, CEO of the Texas Tribune, CEO of Lilt, Chief AI Officer from HUD, and also the VP and Executive Director of the Aspen Institute. Congratulations again to Jun Kamo and his team, and Kamioka Sensei, who has been an integral part of this since we've met uh, 13 years ago. Congratulations again to you all. And thank you for investing your time into this important new title and responsibilities. On a pleasant note, I was very lucky to catch some dolphins in a feeding frenzy right outside my apartment. And uh, that's where I hope to go next, right after I edit this video. Thank you all so much for joining. Best of luck to you all. Please reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.